Hello everyone, Alpine Mesh here with a new episode of Volcanoids. Um, so the last time I promised you to furnish uh, the drill ship and I have delivered, so let's go into it. As you can see, this part is pretty much the same, but here we have a bit of uh, difference. So I left only the most necessary manual production stations here, like production, research and refinery station. And I added uh, an interesting device here. So basically what this device does, it remembers how the modules were configured. So all these modules, for example, these turrets, uh, this um, refinery station and production station. So it can actually save it by using this button if I wanted to, and it can load the configuration by using the load button. For example, if I press this uh, lever. So why is it useful? Let's, uh, let's, for example, imagine that I turn off all the modules here. So you see, like, now everything is off. And maybe, I don't know, like, I decided to do the production. And I'm doing the production process. And suddenly, somebody attacks the ship. So what can I do in this case? I can just quickly pull this lever. And what it will do, it will turn off all the production modules. And it will enable all the turrets which is really, really great for emergency situations. All right, so here we have a little bit more space because I moved all the manual production and the bed into the other segment. So here is like a lot of space and it's mostly the navigation uh, panel. Now, uh, here I have two drawers. One is for basically uh, healing and repair stuff and also a spray tool, which I made. You will see why I made it soon. And there is a ammo shelf just for things uh, for the quick access. Now let's go into this new segment. What have we got here? First, I'll show you uh, the second floor. It's just the bed and all the manual crafting stations in case we need them, because sometimes uh, it might be necessary, for example, to craft something underground where we don't have access to our modules. Now, what have we got here? So here, um, this is basically our production area. Uh, I have two devices here for production. One is uh, um, station-wide scrap and another one is station-wide refinery. So why they are here? Uh, I decided I will automate some part of the process uh, to make it easier because like I love automation. So what is that exactly? Let's have a look here. So this is a scrap station, right? So it can process up to six different uh, commands to scrap different things and there are certain things we always want to scrap so let's look at this for example uh here is this copper ingots and another one and here is another copper ingot and they all take uh scrap uh, to process so my idea here is to just uh, queue up a lot of them. So like whenever we have enough, we'll just process them and, and they will not occupy too much space in our storage. And um, I was looking at these uh, three recipes. So basically, this is the worst in terms of uh, coal consumption. This seems to be the best in terms of combination of how much scrap we spend to get copper ingot. And this uh, seems to be the best overall because... Uh, we also get two copper ingots per one uh, scrap, but we don't have to spend coal. But it takes a little bit more time because it's more uh, tasks it has to execute. So I'll just uh, queue up as many as I can. So to queue up as much as I can, I just press Ctrl and Shift together and then I get 200 each time. So 2K seems to be the biggest amount. So like we're processing everything we have right now in our inventory. And it's done. So right now it's not enough copper scrap metals, but it's it's not a big deal because it's going to stay here until we get something and it's going to work then. I need to take care of something. All right, no problem anymore. So the next thing we can always scrap is this uh, because it's uh, it's just a destroyed research module. So we, we, we really don't have any use for that. So like, let's just queue up all of them as well here. And this is pretty much it for now. So that's how we're going to uh, stay for a while until we get better production uh, devices. Now, let's look here. Station-wide refinery. So what do we need from here? Of course, we would like to convert all the copper ore we have. So we'll just queue it up. 
Nice. Now, what else? So we make sulfur powder from sulfur ore and sulfur ore is only used to uh, make sulfur powder. So we always need to convert that. So I'm just going to queue it up as much as I can. And that's it. So that's enough for now. And I hear that we need to go underground. Good, so while we are uh, underground and waiting for an eruption, I will tell you what these are. These are basically um, monitoring panels for our production, our refinery and our science uh, research uh, modules. So we can have uh, a look at how many modules are active, zero of course for now, how much core is used uh, for these modules and how much energy they consume. So it's just a great uh, outlook at uh, what, what is actually used uh, in our drill ship at this time. I think that that's it for, uh, for the uh, tour. So there's not much else here available. So let's go and figure out what we are going to do next. Since the explosion already happened, it is time to go up and try to achieve something. Right now we are at the uh, Tunnels 1 layer and there is not much for us to do. So I just want to uh, quickly move to the second level and try to get some iron ore and maybe try to uh, get inside of one of these more advanced uh, drill ships. There's an interesting place called Sparks of Dragon 1. Let's investigate. Okay, so now I want to make sure that we activate our refining facility just to check if the refining works. Yes, perfect. <laughs> and it's done in just a few seconds, so we don't need it anymore. I will leave our uh, turrets active because I want to make sure that they will protect us just in case we have enough of everything and we are ready to go. Let's just check how many uh, bullets we have. I think I'm going to get me another pack of these bullets and I think this is enough. All right, maybe though, maybe another one of these just for protecting myself. Now, there is something I wanted to show you. The uh, drill ship is not red anymore, it's blue. I think I like it more this way. It's uh, just a more pleasant color and it's not so aggressive. So, you know, I'm, I'm not an aggressive person. I don't want to uh, come through this way. So I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, peaceful. Now, let's have a look at the, what it is around here. Wow, I can see there is a lot of stuff around here. Uh, let's check. Let's explore this area and see what we can find. Well, there's definitely some hot lava lakes. Oh, it's it's really hot. It's actually almost like painful to be around them. Hmm. Aha, the enemies. What are they doing? I'm curious. Hmm. What if I can... What if I can get closer to them just to see what they are doing? Oh well. I see now they're fighting with me. Oh, I'm so much missing grenades. Oh. Wow, there is also not so much space for, for the cover. That makes it a little bit too, too difficult. Hmm. I wonder what, where was the last time I saved the game? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa! That, that's too much. That's too much. Calm down, guys. Yeah, they really need to calm down. Hmm. 
I think my first priority is to get some of this health back. And then maybe I could try and shoot again. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's pretty tough, actually. I didn't expect that level of toughness already on this level. What I'm really missing is... Um, Maybe some grenades, but I don't have the technology to create them. Hmm. Probably it's not the best uh, situation uh, for me to try and conquer one of these uh, ships. I think the best would be to try and actually improve my drill ship so I could uh, maybe produce better equipment and better weapons. I don't see much iron around. I wonder if there will be any iron nodes here. Well, if there will be no iron nodes, I can always go and check uh, other locations. What is that? Coal, I suppose. All right. That is something. Hmm, what if I could just go from the other side? Can I actually enter? Oh, Ooh! this is... N oh, maybe, just maybe I could get in right now. Oh, they came back. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Okay, well, I will try to do something about it, but probably I will have to run away. Oh, and also the drill ship is taking damage. This is very unfortunate. Oh, look at that. It's like fireworks. Just not very funny. Hmm. I definitely need better weapons. Okay, well... I mean, it's not too bad because I already got the iron. I don't know how much I think it will be enough for some sort of upgrade. I guess that should be a production upgrade because production is literally what allows us to make new equipment. This is not too bad. Oh, 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 almost, almost, yes. Whew. This is not as uh, easy as I uh, assumed. Okay, now I'm going to loot them. It's not so much actually either. It's not like I'm getting a lot of stuff out of them. A little bit of ammo, a little bit of scrap, but not more than that. So what about the condition of the ship? Well, it's not it's not actually terrible, but um, I need to make sure I always pay attention. Okay, now um, let's have a look at what we uh, have gathered. So this, this uh, iron ore. Okay, 27 iron ore. This is this doesn't look uh, like, um, you know, a great amount of ore, but uh, let's not get too pessimistic here. We have eight minutes. Maybe we'll manage to uh, make something. Okay, here is no material, no material. I need to take care of them. Oh my god, there is another group coming already. They're pretty curious. Uh, they're not going here, okay. Now back to our business. Um, so I think I will set up another refining task. Not here, here. 
Um, I would like to make T1 ingot, one copper, ah, we need copper ore in order to make this alloy. It means that I shouldn't actually use all my copper here. Okay, let's cancel this. Fine, fine, it's fine. So I need more copper ore right now in order to make this alloy. Okay, so how much alloy do I need to make the upgrade that I want to? It seems that we're still missing the uh, sensors and uh, I guess I need to go back to the ground level and uh, get some sensors because otherwise I guess it's not going to work because without sensors we cannot uh, upgrade our uh, research and then we cannot make uh, tier 2 modules and etc etc. Uh, one thing we can actually do now is craft the hardened drill that allows us to go through different areas, but I don't think we're ready yet. So it's it's really for the for the future. For now, I want to just go to the uh, ground level and try to get me some sensors. So as soon as I get them, I'll be back with you. While I was uh, trying to get the sensors, uh, I explored a little bit of this cave's level. 
And it turns out that uh, there is one uh, little den when there is only one entrance. This means uh, if we're fast enough, and then we can just hide there and there will be no enemy ships. It means we can just do production. I want to try that. Perfect. So now we need 10 alloy tier 1 ingot. Let's uh, try and craft some. Now, we need 10 of them, it would be control, no, control is 20, shift, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, we need only refinery module tier 1, alright, here you go. Anything else? Yeah, cool, we're uh, producing them. Now, I'd only need to free up some space here, we have quite a lot of stuff happening. Um, I think I will just get rid of these power plants and storages. Okay, and uh, refinery station is done with production, so now uh, we should have enough. Yeah, now we only need two Intel refinery tier 1 and two Intel production tier 1. Okay, so production tech tier 1. Yeah, I think uh, we just use the heads. They're quite common. And refinery, yeah, as well, I think it's the best to use the heads. And now I want to open the module to make it a little bit faster. Okay, uh, we don't have enough space again. What can I get rid of? I think temporarily I just move the machines to my inventory. Oh, maybe ammo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ammo takes up uh, some space. I guess I will just move it in the storage here. No material. Okay, then we will just use the refinery. It's not a big deal. Refinery is also quite common. Good. Okay, so we ordered this one and we need production module tier 1 to be enabled. It is here. I'll just go quickly disable our refinery. Oh, it takes a lot of time actually to produce. Very interesting. Production module tier 1 active. Hmm. I wonder if we can uh, have more production modules to speed this thing up. Well, for now it's not so important. I'll just go and mine something. I'll be back when it's done. So, I literally mined out everything and it was just two nodes of coal and uh, it's almost ready. So, I think I'll just wait until it's ready. Perfect, it is done. Now, let's have a look at it. Hardened drill. Uh, allows to travel through soft stones area 2, install into drill upgrade slot, armor 30%. Sounds good. Okay, so we'll just drop it somewhere here. Perfect. Now, um, one thing I would like to try with this new epic drill is to go and travel to that area which was only accessible uh, with the with the better drill. Let's have a look. So that was in the caves, I think. Oh, no, no, no. It was in the tunnels. Tunnels 2 over here. All right. So how can I get there? So I need to go underground right now. All right, so let's give it a try. Wow, we are in this new area. Amazing. Uh, I think I will spend some time and explore it again as usual and see what uh, what we can discover here. So this was actually a very small area and uh, that, that's all there is. There is uh, two cave entrances here and one I'm uh, standing on. And this place is... Uh, laser device inside the cave and it says I'm impossible so I, I'm not really sure what is there but I just want to uh, check what is uh, in this cave I think it's uh, it's the same cave system so let's go 
Oh, it is, uh, it is a very interesting device. I wonder if we can um, somehow interact with it and make it less functional. Let's put it this way and see if something uh, changes. There is a turret and I'm not sure how quickly can I do something about it and also there is a bunch of guys going there. I think if only I have grenades but I have no way to make them. That's pretty sad. Oh! There is more cogs around. Hmm. Interesting. Do they have any scientific ships? I don't think so. Oh, it's a very big group of them. And they don't look very friendly. I think probably I will come back in a bit. Uh, just, uh, you know, when things getting uh, too hot, it's good to get a little bit underground. And also it is a good moment to end the episode. I understand that we still haven't found the sensors, but the search continues. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!